Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time stumbling across this part of YouTube. My name is David, I go by Prisma, and welcome to Season 4 of The Sims 4 Hunger Games. So, cool. if you are new to my channel, this is a series that has always been highly requested on my channel because it's just a lot of fun. And I will go into the rules, I'll go into how everything works here in just a second, but thank you to everyone that submitted Sims to use in this series. This series is highly based based on your guys' um, input, meaning that I only use sims that you guys create. That way you have, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit more fun when you guys can interact a little bit more in series, and maybe your sim will be the one left standing, so who knows? But first off, we will go over the tributes that we have in this new season of The Hunger Games. We'll go over the rules, then we'll hop in and just kind of have like a communal day. They'll just kind of hang out, get to talk to each other, there will be no killing, no challenges, nothing like that. Everything will be unlocked, so they can just kind of explore, get to know their surroundings, and then in the next video is when things start getting interesting. So, if you've never seen a Hunger Games series before, long story short, it is a pretty highly modded series, and the mod that we use is called Extreme Violence Mod. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below if you're interested Ooh. in that. But um, I'll just go ahead and say it, this series is definitely not kid-friendly, so if you are a younger viewer, I definitely probably would not recommend watching this series, um, because there's a lot of gore and guts and blood and literal murder, like the Sims are actually killing each other, so just putting that out there. Um, but the way that this kind of series works is that we have eight tributes, we're going to be kind of locked into a lot or a house together, every day there's going to be challenges, the winner of the challenge gets access to what's called the, um, they like it's kind of like a winning like a win room um, they are basically locked into a separate room that has food a TV a huge bed a lot of activities and things for them to do and they are immune from being eliminated or killed in that particular round everyone else who is left out and about in the um, lot um, at a certain time I will turn on the extreme violence mod that until one sim is killed. So basically what that means is that I turn on autonomous killing and the sims can kind of do as they please and can kill each other in any means they see fit. And I try to catch, like I try to watch them and catch them. I only want there to be one death per round, but every now and then I've had it where two people kill each other at the same time or whatever. That's just things that happen. But I try to kind of watch them. As soon as one person is killed, I turn the mod off and then we kind of like you know, have them sleep and go to the next day. As far as their needs and things, um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep food away from them. I usually do keep food away from them until like, a, they only have a couple of hours in the day to eat. We'll see, I haven't decided if I wanna do that or not. And there's always gonna be one less bed than there are Sims. So let's say there are, I don't know, all eight Sims. One Sim is gonna go to the reward house. That leaves seven Sims, for instance. So then I'll have six beds, if that makes sense. So there's technically there's two less beds because one person is gonna be in the reward house. They have access to their own bed and it just kind of goes like that. So if, like I said, if you're interested in seeing the previous seasons of how this has worked, I would highly recommend checking them out. They're all gonna be in the playlist that you guys can watch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over the Sims that we have in the Hunger Games. Let me just pull up my little hashtag so I can go over all of the Sims that I picked. Again, thank you to everyone that submitted Sims. I really appreciate it. You guys are so sweet. Um, I guess we'll just start from here and then work our way down. So this is the first Sim that I added in, um, Davina Crawley, who is made by Luca Pez06. Um, this is Davina. Davina aspires to be a friend of the world. She's a good son, cheerful, and at times flirty. She's, I like her hair. She's super cute. So she is one of the tributes that we have. Another one is over here. This is Vanessa Stanford. She was made by King, oh gosh, I'm gonna say your name so wrong, Demarcus. I hope I said that right. Um, and that is what she looks like, super cute. Next up, we have another Sim by King Demarcus, who is Logan Green. He looks really cool. I wonder if he's gonna be, so I feel like, Males in this series, for some reason, always tend to die first. I don't know if the women just like go after them or because there's typically less men in the game. I'm not actually sure, 
but they usually get destroyed <laughs> and I don't know why. Um, next up, we have Luke Hale, who is made by D Daddy Adolf. Um, Luke has been forced to bottle up his angry emotions for years. That was the case until he joined the Hunger Games. He knows that this is the perfect opportunity to be his true self. That is super cool. I love P.S. the weird username. That's really cute. <laughs> um, but here we are, another male sim that we have in the group. Next up is our first alien sim, which I thought was so, so unique. I'm, I'm actually loving this. Um, Arabella Logan, she looks so cool. I really, really love the fact that we have an alien. We've never had an alien before. I don't know if that's going to be an advantage, disadvantage, but we'll see. Um, an alien just trying to vibe on Earth from 6 m She really is into food and writing. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. I did, um, I put on her disguise for right now. I don't know if the other sims in the house know if she's an alien or not, but I just put on the disguise for right now. Just, just to keep it, you know, different. Um, next up we have Jackie Sawyer, who was made by Pokesimmer97. Unfortunately, I did have to take out her cat. Cosmo is super, super cute. Um, but I just added her. She's really pretty. I like her hair a whole lot. Um, and then we have a couple more. We have um, Daniela Perez, who is made by Aqua Diva 456. Um, I didn't have a chance to download the t-shirt, but I had the rest of the CC, so um, I just gave her like a white shirt to look similar like to the shirt that you had on her. Hopefully that's okay. And then last but not least, we have Kennedy Strong, who's made by Team Awesome 1911. Thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate it. Um, Kennedy Strong knows how to get what she wants. She knows just how to talk to people to make them do what she would like them for them to do. Fair. Uh, she doesn't use people, but she could if she wanted to. She vows to use her powers for good, mostly. She sounds like she's gonna be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> but that is all eight of our Sims. I am so excited to dive in to this new season of Hunger Games. This should be, this should be fun. Let's go ahead and hop back into the game. And then the lot that we're using is just a random lot I got off of the gallery. Um, I just looked up like Hunger Games lots, and this was just one of the uh, most uh, most downloaded lots. So. All right, so I do need to bring everybody inside. Uh, oh, I did not mean to click that. It is um, also spring, by the way, and we are in uh, Newcrest, I believe. So I'm just going to have everyone go inside so I can lock the gate. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, I had to quit people's jobs because I just didn't want there to be any issues. Everybody's going inside. Beautiful. Oh, one last person needs to go inside. Go inside. Go ahead, sweetheart. And then we are gonna lock the gate and the game is on. So we're gonna lock the door for everyone. Perfect, so this is what the lot looks like. It's a little dreary out today, so it's a little hard to see. Um, this is where they're gonna be sleeping. Um, we have a, like a living room. There is, I have added, or I have allowed the use of electronics and things in this one. If they, like, just constantly are sitting in front of the TV, I'll get rid of it, but we'll see. I've also added, um, what they, I'm allowing one shower and one toilet, so we'll see how that goes. Um, as of right now, the kitchen is unlocked. Um, I am able to lock the kitchen, but for the first day, it's going to be unlocked. They're able to do what they want, and then I'm going to also lock this bathroom so that they only have access to one bathroom. I probably should actually go ahead and do that right now. Beautiful. And then the reward house is over here. So as you can see, you definitely want to you want to have access to the reward house. Look at all the amazing things that they have. This huge TV, this beautiful bed, electronic devices. They have a gigantic kitchen. This tub is kind of insane so yeah that's actually really really cool and we have this pool out back too up here is where we're going to be doing the challenges so i think the first challenge i'm going to do is painting so the way that the challenges work is that there's one challenge that we do a day like i mentioned whoever wins the challenge gets access to the reward house everybody else is up for the killing round um so I'm going to leave these here just for today so that they can play with them and do what they want. If you guys have any suggestions for challenges, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, that way we can use those. Everyone's like flocking to the reward house. See guys, this is what you want. You want to do well in all of the activities and the challenges so that you have access to this awesome house. 
everyone's gonna be um, getting skills and things, which is totally fine. Um, typically, um, the Sims start off with no skills, so there really isn't much of an advantage, I guess you could say. Um, everyone's pretty much on the same playing field unless they have traits that are... Oh, she didn't like the movie. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I uh, forgot to mention this before, but hey, if you're new and you're interested in uh, the Hunger Games series, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, turn on the little notification bell, that way whenever this series goes up, you uh, are notified of it, because trust me, things get pretty wild in this. Oh, I guess I can show you guys what I mean by the Extreme Violence mod. Um, so, when you click on The Sims, it's going to be this Extreme Violence right here, and you have all of these options. If you guys would like for me to go over a whole separate video on Extreme Violence mod, let me know. I'm definitely happy to do that if you guys are interested in it. Like I said, I know it's it's, it's pretty gory and out there, so I, I get it if it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, like There's like you know, things like suicide, gangs, you know, it, it can be a lot. <laughs> um, so what I'm talking about is the autonomy. So I would basically enable autonomous killing for everybody. And then they would just kind of do their own thing. I am going to disable cops. I probably should have done that before. I forgot about that. Um, and I think... Oh, do I want to disable reactions? Yeah, I probably should disable reactions. Reactions just make them... It gets a little annoying, really. Um, I do want them to have self-defense. So basically, self-defense means that some, if someone tries to attack them, there is a chance that they would survive. Which is really, really cool. That happened in the last series towards the end, actually. And things got crazy. So I think that'd be really cool. Um, do I want to disable reputation? I don't know. Oh, I guess. Yeah, well, there's no cops, so they can't really get arrested, right? Yeah. Um, drain blood, blah, blah, blah. blah make partners in crime, blah, blah, blah. blah. Fame and reputation. Ooh. I don't really think I've done a whole lot with, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna disable reactions. That's just gonna get annoying, too, so... Um, I think that's everything that I needed to disable. Check kill count. Oh my god. Oh, and whenever they kill someone, they literally get, like, blood all over them. It's crazy. <laughs> take a selfie with a gun, take a selfie with a knife, flip the finger. Okay. And I'm not doing anything with gangs. Like, I'm not doing anything with gangs. So that's just not something that I'm going to be doing in this series. But no, I've never actually explored it, really. Man, everybody's in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the other girl just walked out. Wow. Yeah, see, guys? You want to be in here. Look at everyone being all friendly and fake. Not like they're going to be murdering each other here in a little bit. But there's nothing else in the world that I've added. Like, it's literally just this one lot. That's why I picked Newcrest. That way we wouldn't have, like, neighbors and things like that. Obviously, there's going to be Sims walking around because that's just how The Sims 4 is. But I put this big uh, fence around so that hopefully nobody would bother us. And I locked it so that they can't get out. So... Um, I, I have had sims that have drowned before, like, not even in death rounds, so I'm actually a pretty, like, I like having the pool around, because if you have random deaths, it gets, um, it gets interesting. Um, in the next video, I will also turn on, let me show you, oh, wrong one. Let's see, where is it? Extreme violence, here we go. So you can turn on autonomous non-deadly interactions. That's something that I like having on at all times, meaning that there will be fights and stealing and things, but they don't die from them. Like, there's not a chance for them to die from that. I just like having a little bit more... I guess four in it, <laughs> as awful as that sounds, but um, yeah, this is definitely a fan favorite on my channel, and I mean, this is season four, so I, I really enjoy doing this series, and it's nice to have Sims 4 back on the channel. I think a lot of you guys enjoy The Sims 3, but Sims 4 has its fun. Oh, okay. Hello, Judith. I don't like Judith. She's annoying. Some of the celebrities in this game are just so irritating. <laughs> I feel so bad, but they're just so annoying. Um, but either way, this video is going to be a little bit short because there's not really a whole lot going on. It was mainly just the introductions. But in the next video, things are going to start getting interesting. So I am going to wrap up this part here. I hope you guys all enjoyed the introduction to Season 4 of The Sims 4 Hunger Games. Tune in next week to see the first challenge and the first killing round. There are new deaths 
that have been added to this mod. So hopefully we get to experience those at some point. But like I said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Leave all of your comments down below. Let me know any challenge suggestions, who you're rooting for, whether it's your sim or another sim that has been added to the house. Um, also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell to turn on notifications to know whenever it is I have videos that go live, and I will speak to you all next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.